hey guys welcome back again in the final video of the series of the using sqlite in our android application development so this one is the final video in which i'm going to show you that the i am going to show you that how the implementation of our previous three video tutorials is executing on the emulator so make sure you have seen that but uh, that uh, all the videos and you have done the implementation like uh, i have described in that video tutorials so we are just going to execute our application on the emulator so just select the one particular emulator i have connected my phone over here also so i will just select the emulator it will just build the gradle for the execution and it will wait for the moments to start this particular thing on the emulator so this is what the application startup and yeah this one is what the main activity will look like it has the four button the adding the student information displaying the student information updating the student info and the deleting the particular student information so initially there is a no information over here so we will just add one particular student information we have the uh, we have to give the inputs the enrollment number so like say we will give the some random entries over here we will define the particular phone number and we will add the entries into the database so as you can see it has added the entries and it has get the particular information from the dialog fragment in the activity so this is what and we will click on the show details so it will show that the, uh, the information is stored into the particular sql database now we are just going to update this particular information so it requires the id to be uh, remember for that one so id is equal to one so we will pass that id over here we will give the new enrollment number equal to 555 over here we will give the new name let's say the ramesh and we will give the phone number over here so it will be the new phone number over here so we will give the update so the student entries will be updated in the database to refresh this particular information we will click on the show details so as you can see it has refreshed the information in the database also now how the delete thing is working so we will click on the delete it requires also the id for that one so we will pass the id of the student of which we are going to delete the entry so here the id is equal to one we will delete the entries so as you can see that the student deleted successfully from the database just refresh the particular list so as you can see the student information is deleted from the database so this is how all the things are working the adding the student information the displaying the student information updating a particular student information and deleting a student details from the database so this is how all the things is working with the help of the sqlite database in the android application so I think you have enjoyed this series of these videos of using the SQLite in your Android application and you will get the most of the benefit if you will use it with the most best functionality and the best implementation. So thanks for watching this video and please subscribe and like our videos and subscribe to our channel for the uh, next video tutorials or the video series of the Android application development and the other iPhone application development. So thank you very much.